That girl been making me money, okay? Money. Uh, this is the part two. Uh, so I'm gonna be talking to you guys about Macari today. And Macari is my baby, okay? Macari has been, she has been my road dog this past year. Well, almost a year. I started Macari in the beginning of March of 2020. And that girl been making me money, okay? Money. So, let me give you the tips that I've learned about Macari. So it's gonna be the same as before, so I'm gonna break it down into two categories. One is gonna be the presence on the app, and then two is gonna be the pricing on the app. Now, let's start with the presence on the app because it's much shorter. <laughs> so the presence on the app, with Macari, it does not need you to be actively on it. You can literally list your items and go and just have, you know, push notifications coming through and that's it. You don't need to be on there constantly relisting and doing all that extra. You do not have to do that with Macari. So if you want something that'll be the lowest of maintenance, Macari is that girl, okay? So. <laughs> when it comes to your presence, you want to make sure that you have your push notifications on. Now, make sure you have push notifications for your messages and your offers. So that way you can, you know, instantly decline or you can instantly accept the offers that you get. Also, you want to be nice. Now, people will ask you dumbass questions, and I mean the dumbest. Mother. You are professional, okay? <laughs> so you can't respond with a dumbass answer. You wanna make sure that you are friendly, you wanna make sure that you answer their questions honestly, and even if you put it in the description and they still ask you that dumbass question in your messages, just respond. Sometimes I've been very snarky with my remarks because I'm like, are you not reading the listing like or did you just bypass the whole description and just jumped in my messages that makes no sense to me in order for you to message me on this item you have to scroll past the description before you can hit message that's literally how they designed that app which i think is dope but people still don't read i'm doing a lot of cursing and i'm so sorry y'all my bad i'm just feeling it you know what i'm saying Anyways, comes to the pricing. This one is a little bit more extensive than the presents. So when it comes to your pricing, Macari is like a garage sale. And of course, when you think of a garage sale, you think of a flea market. You think everything is super fucking cheap. And it is. On Macari, people want a deal. The app is designed for people to get deals. Um, they literally have an offer button. So if you price an item for $20, I'm only willing to pay $15 for that shirt, I can send you an offer and say, hey, would you take $15 for this shirt? And then you're gonna get a message that says, so-and-so offered you $15 for this shirt. And you can be like, hmm, decline. No. Cause the lowest I'm gonna go on this shirt is $18 because I paid $42 for it. So the app is kind of kind of nice with it. Um, it works on both ends. So you can either decline, you can accept, or you can counter. Now, so I've noticed that when I counter on an item that somebody has sent me an offer on, they never purchase it, like absolutely ever. So the price, for the most part, that they send on the offer is what they're willing to pay for it. Some people are a little different. They may, you know, offer something else. I know when I first started, I would just decline the offer. I never sent out counter offers. I would always decline because I felt like my prices were low and I felt like they can pay for that price because it's low. Like, it's no issue. Pay for it at full asking price. But now, I'll accept their offer if it you know aligns with what I'm okay with or what I'm not okay with. Uh, this, this will fall right into uh, when you list your items, you always wanna list it maybe two to five dollars more than what you actually want on it. So if you actually wanna make $10 on this item, list it for like $15. Somebody is gonna message you and send an offer for $12. And you're gonna be like, voila, this is what I wanted. I actually wanted $10 for it, but here you are paying 12 because you thought that 15 was my actual price that I wanted at. So that has been one of the biggest um, catalysts to me making a lot of money on Macari is just 
pricing it a little bit higher than what I want it for is to send offers. Now, I would recommend only sending offers when you have five plus likes on these things. And let me um, go back a little bit because I know in my last video when I was talking about Depop, um, Macari is completely different when it comes to people liking your items. They like your items because they want it. Like they, they're one of the people that will purchase that item. They're not liking it so you can go to their page. Macari doesn't work like that. It's completely different. The app layout is completely different. So it is designed for people to buy and sell, not to have it like an Instagram, like how Depop is. So make sure that you are promoting your item. So usually they, they give you the option to send offers and then also to promote. So promoting is more so just to, of course, knock off 5% of your asking price. It'll boost your item to the top again. So let's say you, you had a shirt on there. Let's say that Forever 21 shirt that I was talking about in my last video. Let's say you have that one at $12 and it has made its way down on the search engine because you know, you posted it three days ago. So people are constantly posting new new things. And since yours was posted days ago, now you're sitting at the bottom. So when you promote your item, they're gonna knock 5% off and then they're gonna put it right back at the top. So it's like a win-win for, for everybody because the potential buyer, they're like, ooh, it's a dollar off or it's $2 off or whatever the 5% would be on that actual price. And now it's back at the top. So now you're getting more eyes on it. Also, they only give you 10 promos a day. So you can only promote 10 items a day. So you might as well promote your good stuff and then that'll entice them to visit your actual page. So yeah, so you only get 10 promos a day on Mercari. So make sure you own the, the good stuff, like the stuff that has a few likes to it or, or something like that. That way you can get sales. My most important tip on Macari is, and I think this is why I've made so much money on there. This one is something that you need to probably remember. Delete your listings after three days. Delete them. Delete all of them. You have 20 likes on it, delete them. Everything off of Macari, and then I'll wait a full day, don't list anything, and then that next day, I'll list everything else because that puts you back at the top. You're not constantly losing money by promoting or sending offers because they don't they 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 don't cap you. So they, they well, okay, they cap you at nine dollars. So let's say you started off a shirt at twenty two dollars. You've already sent offers and promos. Now you're down to twelve dollars on that shirt. You don't want that because you let's say you initially wanted to make an eighteen dollar profit. Now you sit at twelve dollars for what? When you can just relist it for $22 again. And I promise you, somebody is gonna buy it. Thank y'all so much for tuning in and watching this video. If you found it helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe because I'm gonna be giving y'all more and more and more and more tips.